I'm going to do a really short video called Perspective. And we all have a different perspective. Now, um, besides the messy yard, that's because there's been work on a greenhouse. Um, you guys may say, hey, well, wow, you need to cut your grass. Well, that's actually food for the goats and so forth. And actually other critters. Um, it's good to take care of your, your, the animals around you. Um, so it's a perspective on how you live in balance with nature. These are the trees I love when the wind blows because they, um, when the wind blows and through the trees you can hear, it's almost like they whisper. Now over there, I, the sun's in my eyes, so I don't know if I'm even showing this. There, those are alder trees, but we have um, other trees over there. We have cedar. There's all kinds of fir trees and stuff. But when the wind starts blowing, it'll start over there, and that one will talk to this tree, and this tree will talk to these trees. And then it, it, it goes. This is just how it goes. I'm showing you the path that it goes in. Um, and these are berry bushes all along the bottom. They get caught up in the conversation too. Um, and it goes on. And the perspective I get is um, the wind carries the message to the trees and the trees spread it amongst themselves to the animals and the trees and what lives beneath the trees and the nature. And the messenger is not important. It's the message they get. Um, so I think it's a perspective. Anyone who is involved in not hurting humanity is only there to help humanity. Whether they're the messenger or they comment on the message, either way you have just per participated and put a perspective out on humanity. It's not about anything else. So, I've seen a lot of things. Like, actually, I haven't because I quit, kind of quit watching videos. I'm very selective. If they're downer videos or they're insulting videos, I've stopped watching because I don't want my perspective to be drawn away from what a Salish elder told me. If I am not helping humanity, I'm hurting it. That means um, I'm not, I sometimes have a message and I'm, that would make me just a messenger, nothing more, nothing less. It's what you do with the message and then you become the messenger and if you pass a message to me, you were a messenger who passed a message to me and it's what I do with the me message. And as long as I do something positive with that message, then I am helping humanity. If I choose to do something harmful with that message, then I'm hurting humanity. And I'm going to live by that philosophy. I actually have been living by that philosophy for a long time. Um, maybe it's just not been recognized by some. And some it has. It shows your character if you have not wavered on stuff. Sometimes I've gotten led astray all through life, and sometimes I find my way back to where I belong. And thanks to, oh, berries. Oops, oh, the dogs lead it. And here's some beautiful uh, blackberries Kenny just went and picked. Um, perspective, the berries. We have berries here. Eat the food that grows around you also. It'll help build up your immunity to the things that are going on around you like can like I said we there's berry bushes those are all berry bushes right out there there's just walk you walk along here at night and you can I mean you don't have to go past two berry bushes and get a bucket full of berries and we munch on these at night this is like your snack at night I'm munching on them now um, we do grow, um, we're trying blueberries this year. We learned that they needed a more acidic soil and the soil they were in wasn't that acidic. 
and Kenny actually put a few drops of um, raw apple cider vinegar in water and watered them and it actually did um, help them grow and and ripen much faster it was amazing it was just we did it with one plant and it mm, it worked awesome anyway perspective is how you look at things and as you get older and, and mature more you will look at things from all different views as you should and you should never take anyone's you should do your own research period always do your own research don't take anybody's word for anything but with everything you do do it to help humanity and not hurt humanity if your goal is to hurt humanity well actually if that is your goal I, I'm not going to be watching you anyway um, but shame on you because um, this earth this great living earth of ours belongs to all of us and, and the resources I repeat this over and over are being extracted but we all are part of the great puzzle we could solve so many problems um, and that was a perspective of Kenny's but um, as he walked by <laughs> anyway um, just uh, something on perspective here I wish everyone well and um, remember um, everyone who puts out a YouTube video or or anything it's their perspective make sure it's a positive one I am I'm tired of negative perspectives because there are solutions for the negativity um, there's a lot of solutions no one dares talk about because everyone wants to look at the symptom and not the disease itself and um, if you looked at the disease it would take a lot of responsibility in a, and as adults we should be responsible because we borrow this earth for a short time and the rest and then it belongs to our children who borrow it for their children etc we should leave this in a better place than when we borrow it and um, as I'm saying if your message is not one that is positive or to uplift humanity then it's the opposite hurting humanity and then you're really as the Salish elder pretty much said you you prove who you are and anyway I love everybody just wanted to get that across because I see there's a lot of fear stuff going on and, and I would say look at the symptom the symptoms are from the disease itself with um, what's happening in the militarization of the police the border um, wars ISIS fake beheadings or real beheadings however you have looked at it from your perspective um, look at who benefits um, in your perspective follow the money and I often wonder why don't American contractors get the jobs for some of the most important things happening here in our own country and they don't uh, that is a fact I've left it in links many times and it seems to be offensive to people but why is Israel getting all the contractors which have to do with our security the militarization of the police the borders TSA you name it they are the ones training and the biggest thing they brag on it's been tested on Palestine I wonder what the Creator is telling those trees in the wind about that um, we are responsible adults let's act like it the disease there is a disease out there and, and we've all caught it part of us have um, and that is being very complicit and not taking responsibility now um, say let's just use the example of Ebola if Ebola is is airborne as they say you would take precautions and do things to make sure it didn't enter your household or around your area how come with the symptoms that our government has done by funding terrorist groups who are doing terrible things to other people and now 
those terrorist groups funded by our taxpayer money and our allies' taxpayer money are saying they're going to hurt a city in America? Well, that disease stems from one place, our government. Our government is the disease. We need to cure the disease, and the only way I can see to do that is get rid of governments. There's other ways, and there there is ways that have been used in the past that work just fine. This big monster that sits in the District of Columbia that calls itself a nation and a state, that's just bullshit, where they can do no wrong and they have... That what applies to them does not apply to us. They don't go to jail. They can murder. They can steal. That's a disease. The symptoms are everything we see right now. The hell with the symptoms. All you got to do is kill the disease. Eventually the symptoms go away. That's all we have to do. I'm not saying kill the government. I'm saying abolish it. Take your power back. I've rambled long enough. That was my perspective. Um, love one another. If you're not helping humanity, you're hurting it. Try to do things positive with solutions. Like I said, don't blame people coming across the border. Our government had had that plan for a long time. Look, that's a symptom of our government's evil. And if you really wanted to look at something, look at what the corporations are doing in South and Central America and also in Mexico. Um, sponsored by us, our tax, our taxpayer dollars hard at work. That 1033 program, our taxpayer dollars hard at work, militarizing the police. We pay their salary so they can kill us, harm us, terrify us. When's the, when is enough? The disease sits in one place. Does anybody have a cure? I can think of several cures, even nonviolent cures. A lot of you think of violent ones. I could actually think of some nonviolent cures. I mean, to board that place up, come in, clean house, board it up, and, and leave it. Maybe even burn it to the ground when everybody's gone. Leave a plaque up saying, This will tyranny will never run North America again. Hope the rest of the continents follow suit. And let's live in a place where we, as responsible human beings, don't leave it to your children or their children to take on this task. Because the education system has dumbed them down. They're not going to stand a good chance. They're going to end up just being killed or slaves. So it's time we stand up and be responsible. I'm open to any suggestions you leave below. Um, I'm not promoting violence in any way. Um, heck, I'm saying walk by next to one another, hand in hand, and let's start talking to one another about some solutions. And stop falling for the symptoms. I mean, stand with those people in Ferguson, yes, against the militarized police. But you better focus the main anger at the golfer dude and all those people that take vacations up there on our dime. And although he was a selected CEO, I think they really failed at their their own selection, that corporation of D.C. I, I, I think they thought that they would have somebody a little bit more intellectual because he has handlers and stuff. I hope everyone understands or comprehends that. He's not free to, to go through and do what he wants. There's handlers with all of them. This is a corporation. It's ran by bankers um, and other people. The same old world order that came here to begin with. That had a good idea, they just left out the best parts. So anyway, I have a blah, blah, blah enough and, and actually love you guys. We have a beautiful day. I'm getting some sunshine. Um, thank you for everybody who came to the chat. It was wonderful. Um, we're talking about what we should discuss next. Uh, we're trying to go really different here. Uh, maybe we'll talk about the disease versus the symptoms. Who knows? That would be a good topic because the symptoms are everywhere, but we need to tackle the main thing. And I know that um, I will say this ahead of time.
the true ray sun is going to be on with us. I'm not sure when. And it's going to be on the slave language and ling linguistics and word spells and how they have been from the beginning of the American English language been used to be a slave language. Anyway, you're probably tired of looking at the bucket. That's a perspective too. Lots of things you can do with buckets. Love you all, and uh, we'll talk to you very, very soon. Have a nice, nice, nice Saturday evening and Sunday, if it's Sunday at your area, uh, Sunday. And uh, I send blessings to all and hope all is well.